Hello, I'm N.T. Wright. Welcome to my study here in Oxford. We're going to be looking at 2 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 10, which reads, God's way of sadness is designed to produce a repentance which leads to salvation, and there's nothing to regret there, but the world's way of sadness produces death. The idea of God's way of sadness might seem an odd idea, but you can see what Paul is doing here. He's contrasting two kinds of sorrow, two kinds of sadness. And he's saying there is an utterly appropriate form of sadness. Jesus said, blessed are those who mourn. But Paul is talking particularly about blessed are those who are sorry and sad because of what they've done and who they've been. And he says there is a way of sadness which comes from God, a way which confronts us with the reality of who we are and what our behavior has done and been and makes us repent, which means to turn away from that whole way of life and to embrace God's way instead. And he says, but there is another kind of sadness. There's a kind of sadness which produces cynicism and hardness and leads actually to death, either to the horror of suicide or at least to the ultimate spiritual death. And so he's saying that repentance, this turnaround, this embrace of God's message of rescue and redemption, that's the thing that produces the genuine way of sadness, the God-given way. He is referring back, it seems, to something that's happened in Corinth, where he has had to confront somebody who has been radically out of line, and the community has been radically out of line in supporting this person in his extraordinary uh, lifestyle and behavior, which Paul says that is simply unacceptable for anyone who is part of the Messiah's family. And then this person, it seems, has genuinely repented. And Paul is saying, that's fine. Now you must welcome him back again because he has shown that true repentance, which is God's way of sadness over against the kind of worldly sadness. There is here an echo of Psalm 1 where you see the contrast between those who are genuinely God's people and those who are going their own way. And that contrast runs right through Scripture, and Paul is here simply plugging into it and applying it to these two types of sorrow. It's a lesson we all need to learn.